Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, February 26th. And I can think, I think you can hear that something's going on. That is not my quail. I have my first flock of chicks. Yay! I am so excited. So right now, they're in a last minute homemade brooder here in the living room. I had the heat lamp, I had the wire, I had the tub. Um, the tub had been a tub I was using to catch water up there by the shed when I was camping. Um, some of the runoff from the shed. And so it was... Um, a good choice to turn into a chick brooder although my preference is I would like to have the chick brooder from Dale's quails and I'll put the link if I remember in the description below I would really like one of his brooders <clears throat> but you know I did it the far less expensive way for the time being I used this thicker um, metal because of the dogs and the cat. I punched, drilled holes. I drilled holes and put zip ties to hold them for now. I'm going to do a couple more to make sure that um, the cat can't get in. But I got home at, oh, it was going on 10 o'clock last night. I got home from, I went to two different tractor supply stores and a, a r rural king which is over an hour away. And so, um, yeah, this is what I've got going on in my living room. I've got baby chicks. And here they are. My first flock of chickens. And I got way too many. Oh my gosh, chicken math is real. So, my original plan was to build the chicken coop outside, buy about five pullets, which are, I guess, now remember, I don't have experience of this stuff, so I'm just telling you my experience, and I'm probably saying incorrect things. So, um, my plan was to buy five pullets, which are young chickens that are, young female chickens that are getting ready to lay eggs. So I was going to skip the whole hatching chick brooder situation and start with almost adult birds. But as you know, when well you may know, my chicken coop is not finished. It's getting close, but it's not finished. And it's chick days at places like Tractor Supply and Rural King. And the way things are going, and there's um, avian flu, bird flu going around, and so there's becoming restrictions about transporting birds, you know, all of that stuff going on. And I had all the supplies, the tub, the light, the heat light, the feeder containers, and I, I have all of these supplies. I don't yet have my fencing for the chicken coop. So I thought, I will get some chicks. Well, clearly I have more than five chicks, don't I? I got more than five chicks because um, almost all of them were um, sold as straight runs, which means they could be boys or girls. I'm not. I'm maybe interested in having a rooster. I'm not interested in having a bunch of roosters. So, you know, who knows? Most of these could be roosters. What I want is about five hens. And so, uh, we'll see how I do raising these, and then um, if there's excessive roosters, then they will go into the freezer at some point. Why, oh, thank you. So, I chose Well Summer. I was so excited to find them. I went to two TSCs and a um, tractor supplies, 
and one rural king, which is over an hour away, um, in hopes of finding well summers. That's a well summer. And I have loved well summers, I think. I have loved well summer eggs for years. Um, a coworker used to bring excess eggs into the uh, office and we could buy them. And they are the most beautiful brown eggs. And I thought that the eggs were, you know, because it was well summer, I thought they were so tasty. Now I know that they're brown eggs and they're farm grown and the chickens are just healthier. So the eggs have a better taste, not just because of the, the breed of the bird. So I was so excited that I found well summers. So I got those for the dark brown speckled eggs they're going to lay. And then I chose buff Orpingtons. So I have four well summers, four buff Orpingtons. I think, no, three, three buffs. I think these more orange, light colored ones are the buff Orpingtons. I chose them because they're, oh well, the well summers I think are a dual purpose. So they're a bigger chicken that you can use for eggs or meat. And then the buff Orpingtons are dual purpose too, I believe. Um, they're also very gentle birds and they sometimes go broody, which means they might lay eggs and hatch them out. So that's why I chose them. And then the other light colored fluff balls are Delawares, which are a large white chicken. I can't remember what color egg they lay, um, but they're a meat bird, more like a meat bird, not a Cornish cross meat bird, um, but a dual purpose large bird for meat. And then, hmm, okay. The plain gray ones, there's I think three of the plain gray ones, they're called sapphire gems. I'd never, I don't know if I ever heard of them before. Um, so I got them because, you know, impulsive, right? And then the gray stripey ones are silver laced wine dopes. And I don't know how you pronounce that word. It's W-Y-A-N-D-O-T-T-E. So sometimes I say Wyandota. Sometimes I say wine dotes. I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. Um, I have always loved the look of wine dotes, and there's many different colors. So the one store had silver laced wine dotes, um, which I, I like the gold laced wine dotes a little better looks wise, I think, but I'm going to, you know, I'm just happy that I have some wine dotes. And so here they are. A wine oats, I believe, also lay brown eggs. I was going for all brown egg layers because I just like brown eggs. So there they are. That's what I'm up to. Man, I gotta get that chicken coop built, don't I? So they'll be in here in the house under the light, under the heat lamp for a while. I have to look up and see how long.